Flower Friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, and today I wanted to do a couple of things. I had a lot of things come in the mail. It's officially shipping confirmation season here for Flower Hill Farm. It's that season where things are in the mail and they're coming to me, including some David Austin bare root roses. I think these are all bare root maybe a couple potted ones, I'm not sure. I'll have to open them up and see. I haven't opened them up yet, so excited. And then I had my wholesale Dahlia Tuber order come in, three big boxes from Edney. So I'll be opening up those boxes too. But I wanted to quickly just show you, I pulled the names yesterday for the five winners for the Sunflower Steve seed giveaway. I notified the winners yesterday, but just in case I wanted to put their names on the screen here, I replied to your original comment on the giveaway video. So. Go look for the instructions there. So congratulations, you guys. Steve is expecting to have more of a retail operation next year when it comes to his seed availability. So if you haven't signed up for his newsletter yet, go ahead and do so. I'll put the link in the description of this video to learn more about when Steve's seeds are becoming like readily available. So I'm on the porch, guys. I'm on the porch, I'm so excited. It's actually a nice sunny day here. Okay, so business over with. Now it's time to play. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up these uh, roses first and I have no idea Ooh, it's been so many months since I ordered I honestly I don't even remember what I got that's kind of the excitement of shipping confirmation season I think I might need to stand up to put a little bit more pressure on these staples that they use oh my gosh okay yep we have oh oh Oh, they look so good. I'm always impressed by the bare roots that we have from, they're so green and so lovely. Okay, let me put it down. And there's a few of them in here. We're gonna get muddy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I was considering doing this on a live video. Look at that, look at that root system. That is incredible. So lush, so healthy, so green. Already has some, of the leaves starting to bud up on this. Uh, this is ready to plant. And, I, and my soil is ready for these things. This one's called Gabriel Oak. Now I got this because my grandfather's name is Gabriel and I wanted to honor him by planting some. I think I have two of them, I'll have to check. Okay, so I'm just gonna set it down. What else? I, I, I Like I said, I was gonna do this on a live video, but I wanted to show you guys uh, the roses and I can't do that when I'm live. Emily Bronte. Another beautiful looking, healthy, living, beautiful bare root. And I have several David Austin roses already in the ground here. This one is, oh, Strawberry Hill. This one's a climbing rose. Very exciting. What else do we have here? Oh, 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 this one's huge. Holy guacamole, I would have to dig the biggest hole ever. This is the Alnwick Rose. Look at that baby. Oh my gosh, these are so, so fantastic looking. And then we have two more. This one is St. Swithin Climbing Rose. I don't even remember ordering this. Basically, the way that I order roses is, um, if it's a zone four, I order it. And this last one in this box is Tess of Dubersville. Dubersville, Dubersville. Also a climbing rose. Look at that root system. That is, that is almost two feet from top to bottom. I'm gonna be digging some big holes. I don't even have any buckets big enough because I was gonna pot them up in buckets. I might be able to get, you know what? I did have Brad grab a couple five gallon buckets. So I might end up, I might end up doing that. So in general, what you do with your bare root roses, um, I don't even know if you need, these are so um, full of moisture already, but typically I soak them for a few hours and then I either pot them up into a big pot or put them straight into the ground. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet today. Uh, well, probably depends on how the day goes. Look at that mambo jumbo, it's huge. I can't even get this back in the box. I can't even, I'm just gonna lay it on the side. Oh, they're professional packers because I can never get them back in the box the way that they should. Okay, 
All right, I'm gonna set this box over. And box number two. Okay, it's a hoodie and sweatpants guy today. Mm. I think every day is a hoodie and sweatpants guy today. Mm. <gasps> what did I get? Holy guacamole. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow, wow, these are packed in so good. Okay, we have, look at these. How do they do this? Litchfield Angel, two of them. So I have, here's the second, Litchfield Angel. So green, so healthy. Who's this little baby? The Ancient Mariner. Holy guacamole. Now some of these are grown on their own root ball and some of these are grafted roses. They're growing on someone else's root ball and I know people do have concerns about that. Um, but it does tell you right on the website if it's a grafted one or if it's growing on its own root. This one is Princess Alexandra of Kent. This is, oh, this is Olivia Rose Austin. This actually I did not order. This was a replacement for uh, one of the roses that actually um, died because David Austin has like a five year warranty on their roses. So if your rose dies, they send you a new one. And I did that on that one. Okay, and the final one is, wow. Wow. Oh, Eustacia Vi. I remember what she looks like so, so vividly because I think I'm most excited about Eustacia Vi. Look at the pink. Look at that. That is like, oh. Now typically when you plant one of these, you will see some roses usually the first year, but it's like the second year that you get the big flush of roses. Um, so I don't even know how many I just opened here but I'm gonna have to find spots for them. I know the climbing roses I was planning on putting on the far side of the porch, down underneath between the house and the pool area, um, because that is an area that I can protect them from the deer. And I also am planning on like putting in some um, pergola-like thing over there so that I'll have uh, that to climb on. Oh my, it's like an octopus. It's literally like an octopus. I don't know how they get these in the box. These are super healthy, so you can buy these potted as well they ship a little bit later in the season and they uh when i got them in the mail a couple years ago my potted roses actually had buds on them already that was exciting that was my poet's wife rose so love it okay so those are the roses and now i have three boxes of dahlia tubers so this has actually never happened to me before all of the dahlias that i ordered which there's 200 tubers between these two boxes not tubers, I should say clumps. There are 200 clumps of tubers in uh, these boxes and none of them got canceled. That's incredible to me. Oh wow, this is fantastic. Okay, let me just, you know what? So you see how this is? This is fantastic. So this is a new way of shipping, I think, when um, this is basically 25 clumps here, 25 clumps here. This one is Joey Linda. This one is Linda's baby. Um, and let me show you, basically, they come in clumps like this. Now, if I wanted to, I could separate these out and plant them individually. And uh, I haven't decided that yet because I don't know exactly how much space I'm going to allow for the dahlias. I don't want it to get too big that I can't handle it. I have a lot of special projects coming up that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So I need to make sure that I'm gonna be able to handle all of this. So, two more boxes. So in this second box, I have the two boxes inside and then Golden Scepter is in this bag. <laughs> And underneath it, I have White Wizard. I'm excited about White Wizard. Yes, I am. Okay, and then over here, so there are three bags of 25 in here. We have Orange Pico. Yay! Okay, final box will be the same. 
should have my favorite. Yay! So in this box, let me tilt it. In this box, I have three boxes. So in, so in the middle, we have Buttercup Breakout. This is the one I was most concerned about. Breakout is a dahlia that I grew a few years ago and it was my favorite. I ended up getting disease and then I had to throw out all of the dahlias. And uh, last year I ordered it again and it was canceled last minute. Canceled? What, who are you? Oh, American Sun. Gotta get those yellows in. Okay, so these are the dahlia tubers that I have. There are 200 of them. I think I probably have a few hundred from last year. So I'm probably going to put 500 dahlias in, which is what I did a couple years ago. Last year, I only planted a couple hundred. So I am doubling the dahlia space. But if you remember, my dahlia space didn't take up that much room. You can plant dahlias about 12 inches apart. So you can fit a lot in a small space. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do. It's not that I'm limited in space, but it does take a lot of time. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these dahlias in with our friends in the garage. We have all of the boxes of tubers out there. They're starting to wake up because the temperatures are starting to kind of go up in the garage. So they're naturally coming out of dormancy and these will do the same. So this is one of the American Sun ones and like, I mean, there's an eye and some will be broken next. Like these tubers, well, I'll cut them off and I'll throw them out. There's an eye, there's an eye, there's an eye, there's a, there, yeah. I mean, it's loaded with eyes. The broken necks, I will cut off and save the good ones. Like here's an example of a nice clump. There are no broken, oh, there's one broken neck on that one. So this one I would th throw out and toss. It's not going to create a flower, but all of these, I could split this in half if I wanted to. There's a nice eye there, there's nice eyes over here. I could turn this into five or six plants. So it all depends on what you want. If you wanna use more space, you can cut them up, but I'll probably just throw the clumps in the ground this year and perhaps maybe next year I, I might think about selling some tubers. So we'll see, cause I can't keep multiplying the way that I'm multiplying. I just physically can't do it. I'm eventually gonna run out of space, so. So that's it for the Dahlia unboxing for the wholesale. I still do have a giant order from Swan Island Dahlias, a bunch of individual tubers, and I'll show you guys that when that order comes in. I think it's shipping next week, according to their information about when they ship. So next week, I should be getting that order. I'm very excited. I'll, of course, share that with you guys too. But anyway, this is gonna go in the garage, and I'm gonna start to soak the roses and make a plan for them. Anyway, thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Is that the noon whistle or is that a truck? That's the noon whistle. It's 12 o'clock. It only goes off once at 12 o'clock. Do you guys live in a town like that? The noon whistle just goes off. 12 o'clock, everybody eat lunch. <laughs>